have a range of numbers starting at a to b. k is an integer that can be evenly divided into a number contained in a and b. The solution is to return the number of times or the count that k can evenly go into a number like this. For our example, we have a equaling 6 and b equaling 11. And if you type in the code set range a to b plus 1, you'll get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And when k equals 2, as you can see, it's divided evenly into 6, 8, and 10. The end result is 3. The answer is 3 because k divides evenly into 3 numbers within the range. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's start our test here. So we're going to choose Python. Hopefully you're not bored to tears waiting for the, so the solution. Oop, let's turn this up. It's to 100%. We don't know what our count is, so let's put our count at 0 right now. And for x in set range, a to b plus 1, so we get the 11. Uh, if x modulo k is even or 0, then we're going to count how many times that happens. And then we're going to return our count. Let's run the test. Oops. Uh, looks like I made a mistake. Oh, parentheses. Let's fix that. Run it again. Oh, one more mistake. Our return is wrong. Let's back that up under the four and run it again. All right, let's see what we get. Submit task. Yes. Um, here goes. Continue. Let's see what we get. I normally don't get very good scores the first time, so let's see where we're at today. Uh, let's scroll down here while it waits. And what do we got? We got, ooh, 50%. Uh, wrong time complexity. Hmm, we got some timeouts. All right, now we can get somewhere. 50%, ooh. Let's try this again. Since we had the wrong time complexity and we need to look at this from a mathematical perspective, I'm gonna go on my online IDE for Python here and type this out. Um, A equals six, B equals 11, K equals two. And I really want to figure this out in my mind mathematically how this can work. 11 minus six floor divided by two plus one is going to give me the right answer, which is three. The 11 minus six floor divided by two happens first and then the one gets added last, those pesky little PEMDAs. Um, I wanted to see if this would run with a different range of numbers. If we have range 12 to 18, it's gonna change our number to four, since there are four numbers that two can evenly be divided into. I'm showing this portion, portion just to show you the math behind it. Yes, and it's four. If we change it to three, 
remember it's going to do the parentheses and the division first and add a one at the end goes in three numbers so let's run it let's see should pop up three so we know that is the mathematical formula that we need okay now that we know the mathematical formula let's try and get our o1 time complexity so what i'm going to do is just do a return line we're going to attempt a single or one liner let's see what we can do here we got b minus a whoops let's uh, let's make them caps b minus a in parentheses floor divided by k and don't forget the plus one we're gonna return this and see where we're at run test Ooh, looks like it works uh, let's go ahead and submit yes I don't think this is gonna be right continue but let's give it a shot Oh, 75% performance. Let's see. Let's scroll down here. We're doing better. We're getting there. Ooh, wrong answers. Um, uh, some things that I'm going to have to check out. Let's take a closer look here. We have a number of multiples for K in a hash table or dictionary. And we also failed in the extreme cases. We definitely need another formula, or I mean a second formula, and we also need to consider whether or not k divides a, I suppose, in the first place. If k is a multiple of a, we can use what we've already been using, which is b minus a floor divided by k plus 1. And if a modulo k is greater than 0, or not a multiple of a, we don't add the 1 anymore, for instance here. And we must reconfigure a. We need to subtract what the remainder would be off of A, and then subtract from B like this. If A modulo K is greater than 0, or in other words has a remainder, then we return B subtracting A minus that remainder, floor divided by K, without the additional 1. I think we have it. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's go for it. Okay, let's start the test again. And here we go, back to Python. Scroll down here, hit that. And let's see if a modulo k equals zero, let's get our first one out of the way there. Then we're gonna return b minus a, floor divided by k plus one, our tried and true formula there. Now if a modulo k is greater than zero, then we are going to return our b minus, new parentheses, a minus modulo, a mod, modulo k, and then parentheses. Then we're just going to floor divide by k without the one. See, make sure it's right. Looks good. We're on the test. It's good. Let's submit it. Yes. Continue. 100%. Very exciting. Scroll down here. Great time complexity. 01. We got it.
Thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful to you. Daily videos throughout the week are coming out so don't forget to subscribe.